And now going to go over troubleshooting the ITL 40. If you are having difficulties with your ITL 40, you can always check the Class 1 website, which is www.class1.com. We have our full manual on there. Or you can call the Class 1 technical support at 1-800-533-3569 and it's extension 1. I'm going to go over a few of the things that a support tech would actually try to walk you through. The first one is going to be a self-test that the display can do. If you're having problems with your ITL 40 and you call Class 1 for support, a support tech may actually walk, walk you through a self-test sequence on your ITL 40. The self-test is going to actually run through a series of dis blinking displays and then it's going to give you some information. Please record the information so that you can report that to your Class 1 support tech. To do the calibration sequence for the self-test, you're going to enter this password, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, right. You watch the display do a variety of blinking and then it's going to start recording the scroll with scrolled messages. This one is the memory test, mem pass. And we're going to have signal for sig pass. And then the wire communication will be next. So it says wire pass. Another test a Class 1 support technician may ask you to run is the voltage test. So to do a voltage test, you're going to enter a sequence and it's actually going to report a voltage. Please write this number down. You will want to give it to your Class 1 support tech. To check your ITL40's voltage, you're going to enter the sequence left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right. And it's now going to display volts. And it'll give you a number, 4.26 in this case. And it's going to keep scrolling the number so you have time to write it down. If you want to get rid of it, just activate the right switch. If you are not sure of your settings on your ITL40 or if you want to return everything to factory setting, you can easily do that by programming in a calibration sequence. When you do this, it's going to reset everything on your display. It's going to turn your display to a remote display. It's going to turn off the reference marker. It'll turn off the sloshing feature. And it's also going to set the brightness level back to the factory setting of 3. So keep that in mind. If this is the master display, you're going to have to recalibrate the display. So I'll run through that. To set your ITL40 back to factory settings, enter the calibration sequence. Left, left, right, right, left right, right, left. All the LEDs will come on and then it's going to bounce back and forth between the top and the bottom LEDs. This is now factory set as a remote display. If you want to quickly set it back to a master, I'll just do that real quick. Right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left. And now your display is functioning normally.